first, we have all heard of faux leather and faux fur, but did you also know there's a variety of faux trends that can work well in your living space? Here to share more is lifestyle expert Kristen Pulkin. Welcome back, Kristen. Thanks, Derek. It's good to be back as always in the holiday se season. I love it. Yeah, so well, we love having you. Now, the first design trend, it's rustic modern, right? Yes, rustic mod modern, which is... What is if, that? Well, it's kind of mixing, you know, modern is clean lines, right? Yeah. And you'll see it like minimalism, clean lines. Rustic is giving that like farmhouse feel. And there's a lot of shows that we all love out there that have, you know, great couples doing this design and you all want our house to look just like that. The farmhouse feel. Yeah, you the couldn't be talking feel. about Chip and Joanna Gaines. <laughs> no, I couldn't you? be. Our of favorite Texas not. couple. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. So starting out, let's talk about our floors at home. What yeah. floors? Floors like a foundation. Think of, you know, it, it is literally of the house. So you, it, your eye does go to it, and it can yeah. be a real eye popper. So there's some tricks to this. The one I'm going to say is a trend, but it's really not, but it is. It's a classic trend. That's wood flooring. Everyone wants that old farmhouse feel, but sometimes you can't afford the real deal. Yeah. So we're going to have a faux wood floor. And I got this at Home Depot. It's, it, it's a little different than the thicker piece pieces of like plywood almost, it's vinyl, but they've, they have progressed so much in it that they have these awesome, you literally just score and stick the flooring and it's 98% water resistant. So this is, it is a trend because it's classic. This is our classic trend of flooring. Do this and it will life change your you know, kitchen or bathroom or whatever. Okay, but stick this is down one. vinyl wood. I like this yeah. green look. Very it's, nice. Isn't it cool? Now, the next one is actually something that I brought to the show today. Yes. These are floor carpet tiles. F-L-O-R, just one O. I actually use these at home. That's a shot of my living oh my room God, right there. So I took that photo today. So that was option number one. And I think we have a second photo to show in three minutes. Wow. I just reconfigured them. And instead of a checkerboard pattern, I did long stripes. And what's I great about it. these, we have some samples here on the table is they're mix and match, totally customizable. Yeah. So you have down here on the floor, I brought some options, um, but also up here on the table we have some little ones. But if you get tired of your rug pattern, you just switch Derek. it up, change it around. That is fantastic. Yeah. In fact, here, let me switch Look. the ones on the floor, too. Oh, my gosh. I and love it. You can also cut them diagonally or horizontally. So. There are an infinite number of, of options, configurations. And for ADD people or people that are creative, this is like our dream. We yeah. get to options every day. Exactly. <laughs> Floor.com tiles start at eight bucks and go up to, I think, high 20s. That's fantastic. Okay, so let's well, talk about another option. Yeah, well, this is one, the last one. It's just the Oriental rugs. This, a real Oriental rug is going to cost you thousands of dollars, but you have a pl cost plus world market has amazing options again another reasonable 100 bucks or less for your floor and it's got that bohemian feel but cheap you're not having to spend thousands of dollars yeah. on it and that's what you want you want the pop and the funk but without spending all the money those rugs can be yeah. very expensive okay <laughs> very let's expensive. talk about our walls and ceilings yes Kristen. so there's a company called walls need love that's awesome my nursery is actually going to be the theme of it is cacti yeah and so this wallpaper that you see here it's beautiful right we love it it's removable. So when my daughter has her own personality and doesn't like mom's design, she can come in and change it because I can remove it. So it's faux wallpaper because it's not permanent and you don't have to have the hassle. That's so Isn't great. It? Yeah. In fact, Walls Need Love, they also, in addition to the strip wallpaper, yes. they also sell smaller decals. I have a friend yeah. who put gold stars in a pattern all over her, her yes. nursery at yes, home. Yes, absolutely. And, and we're I think, seeing a, a photo right yes, now. Yes, this is in my living room. These are faux birch wood branches that I have over my fire place but I, everyone's like do you have wood on your fireplace no it's faux it's not for real it's You're kidding isn't that rad yeah so it, it adds a dimension to your space and it's super funky and they have a cacti in our carriage house that looks really funky and cool like a southwest oh my gosh it's not a dream I love that one i know we do I, so, that's the, a fan. so the, just the cactus the outline of the cactus you just stick that yeah, on there's still like stickers how much does that cost that those were about 90 bucks for that whole set though it's such so, a great can i come and stay in your guest house absolutely it's on airbnb okay <laughs> oh, really? Okay, amazing. Now, what about wood beams? There's also a faux wood beam option? Yes, my husband, thank you. He's my chip. I'm the Joanna, he's the chip. He made this for me, and it's, you know, you get those big wooden beams. They're heavy. You can't do it. You have to get a con contractor to do it. So what we did here is we just got some fencing that we had, cut it off, and then we just nailed it. So you just make like a little box, and when you put it, you're going to put it to the joint up on the top of the, um, the ceiling joint. And that's it. So you and have it your... looks like a wood beam. I know. Genius. Okay, know. we still have a lot to get to, so yep. let's move super fast. 
fast. Yep. Um, so faux succulents. Yes, but awesome. Again, World Market has a bunch. And Hobby Lobby, these big, huge ones, they look real. I like succulents, not real, because they don't collect dust. And they're thicker, so they look more real in appearance. And that's what you want with faux. You want it to look like the real deal. So I love succulents. It's the only kind of fake plant that I'll put in my house. Mix it with some live, too, so it feels like you have live stuff in and there. Very quickly, these animal heads? Yeah, different kind of animal heads. We have a decal that is from Walls Needs Love that I put up. But this is just um, some ear horns. This is ceramic. It's beautiful, but it's um, bringing that element of the farmhouse, the outdoors, the wood. I mean, the animal feel, you know, like leather and fur. Anyways, but I, those are great little added accessories. These are for super it. cool. Yeah, I love those. And no animals were harmed no in animal the making See? of these faux wall decor <laughs> if items. If you're not a huntsman, then this is perfect it's, for you. Okay, lastly, now we've got this faux Flo fur stool, Yes, yeah, right? so this is a flock you of... You made this? Flock, I wish I made this one. No, here's my thing about DIYs. I... I'm a DIY queen, right? But sometimes you just want to buy it, Derek. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Especially when you're pregnant. And I got this, and it's a flocka, a stool. It's awesome. And I bought it. So this is going to add that trend. It's faux. It's not real. And I got it at Walmart. It was awesome. But if you want to make it, get your old... Horrible. Look, if you see this, it's like ripping up. <laughs> get you, get your own find. horrible looking stool. <laughs> yes. And get some faux fur. And all you're going to do is... Where do you get the faux fur? I got this bad boy on sale, which is a win, at a Joann's. So oh, I got man. dressed up at 10 bucks for a yard, which is fabulous. And super soft fillet. Don't you want to cuddle with it? Oh, my gosh, yes. I was just going to say it doubles as a coat or like yeah, a, a little blanket. <laughs> Wait, so you just cut this in the shape of the yeah. stool? Well, you're going to just measure it out. And on the edges okay. here, what you're going to do is you're going to cut it up the side, if I can do it like this. You're going to cut it. And then pretty much you're going to just, with this fur, they say just to rip it. And then you're going to just hot glue it like this. So, so you, you hot glue the, the sides the that side you The side down. And then you have your own, look at this, personal footstool. Oh, mama needs a break, man, for what real. A great idea, <laughs> Kristen Pulpin. You are so much fun. Oh, you're the you best. You have such great ideas. Seriously, I want to come stay in that guest house <laughs> if it's not already rented uh, out on Airbnb. Cheers to that. So We've... listen, guys, for more information, you can visit Kristen's website, kristenjoy.com. You're the best. Come back again. Same. All right. <laughs>